the placebo effect is and what it means and uh, uh, some mechanisms because I think it is quite important to discuss the mechanism of the placebo response within the medical context, uh, not only within the context of pharmacology but within the context of physiotherapy and manual therapy as well. <clears throat> So, uh, this is an overview of my talk. You see that uh, uh, the first part of my talk is about the definition, the very definition of the placebo and the placebo response and nocebo and nocebo response, or if you prefer, a nocebo response or nocebo effect, placebo response or placebo effect. Uh, then uh, uh, the uh, concept which is emerging today uh, uh, that placebos and drugs use the very same mechanism, the very same biochemical pathways in the brain uh, of uh, uh, patients who are receiving a placebo treatment. And uh, I would like to give you uh, three examples. The first example is about, uh, is about pain. The second example is about uh, a motor disorder like Parkinson's disease. And the third example is about physical performance. Uh, uh, then uh, I would like to say something about a nocebo. A nocebo response is the opposite uh, uh, compared to uh, a placebo. And uh, of course, uh, there are many similarities between placebos and drugs, but you can see here that there are also many differences. So I would like to show you some differences between placebos on the one hand and drugs and different pharmacological agents on the other. Then uh, uh, a crucial question, uh, I, I would say uh, a future challenge for uh, placebo research, why some people respond, some other people do not. And uh, 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 last but not least, the merging model, uh, uh, the clinical implications. Actually, there are many clinical implications, uh, but I would like to draw your attention on the single medical implica implications because I think uh, it is very important within the context, particularly within uh, clinical context, like in this meeting, in this, con in, uh, in this Congress. So let me start with uh, the very definition of placebo and nocebo because you know there is a lot of confusion about this word placebo, so what does it mean exactly? So let's start with a, a, a question, what is a placebo? Usually the most common definition of a placebo is that a placebo is a fake treatment, is a sham treatment. Well, this is not complete, it is true, but it is not completely correct because uh, uh, a placebo is a fake treatment, uh, but it is a fake treatment plus the psychosocial context around the patients, around the treatment. For example, you see here the site of, uh, of the health professionals, site of the hospital environment, the smell of drugs is important as well, the words by health professionals, for example, by physicians, by physiotherapists, by psychologists, uh, are very important. Uh, to be touched by complex machines, like an ultrasound machine, is important as well. <clears throat> so all these stimuli, uh, they represent sensory stimuli, they represent social stimuli, they tell the patients that there is a, uh, there is a, a therapy in progress and uh, so the patients have to expect a clinical improvement, therapeutic benefit. So in a single sentence we can call all these sensory and social stimuli the ritual of the therapeutic act. You know there are many rituals in routine medical practice, for example the ritual of taking a pill, the ritual of a shot, the ritual of surgery. Surgeries are very powerful psychological effect. Uh, the ritual of uh, uh, alternative medicine like, like acupuncture, you see, for example, acupuncture, the rituals of acupuncture are very, very complex. Uh, the ritual of medical devices as well, the ritual of physiotherapy, particularly within this context, of course, and why not usually I say the ritual of uh, shamans because sometimes the ritual, of, in general, shamanic rituals are not very different from the ritual uh, of uh, uh, mainstream medicine. So, uh, what I would like to show you today, and I would like to convince you that uh, all these sensory stimuli, all these social stimuli, modulate in the brain of the patients the very same biochemical pathways which are modulated by the drugs we give in routine medical practice. For example, when we give a painkiller like, uh, like morphine, uh, morphine binds to these receptors, the mu-opia receptors, but 
expectations about receiving morphine uh, modulated the very same opioid receptors. And this is all true for other biochemical pathways as well. So I would like to give you two or three examples about this uh, uh, <coughs> this uh, a common mechanism between drugs on the one hand and placebo on the other.